DriveWorks Express is a free entry-level design automation tool installed with every license of SolidWorks. If your designs are the same but different, you can use DriveWorks Express to automatically create unique, customised designs time and time again. There are three easy steps to get up and running with DriveWorks Express. Step 1. Capture the features and dimensions that need to be automated. Step 2. Create an input form to gather any required information. And step 3. Add some design automation rules. Let's take a look at step 3 in more detail. A design rule must be created for every captured dimension, feature, configuration or custom property so that DriveWorks Express knows how to drive your design based on the information entered into your form. DriveWorks Express makes a new copy of every captured model each time it is run, so each of these must have a unique file name. Adding a rule is simple. The Inputs menu gives you a list of the names of all your form controls, making them easy to select and use. Selecting an input will add that value to the end of your file name. If you would like to add extra characters, you can do that by using text strings. Or if you want to add more information, you can do that too, by combining many values together, adding spaces in between if you need to. When DriveWorks Express creates an assembly that uses parts with configurations, the configuration of the part will be saved as a new file. To prevent multiple copies of the same part, use an asterisk as the file name rule. Then, if the part already exists, it will not be copied again. It will be reused. To control that configuration, you simply use the value selected from the drop-down list. Custom properties are usually the easiest rule to apply, since they usually just require a copy of the data from the input form. But you can, of course, add extra detail here too. Controlling dimensions and features is where you can capture your design intent and make changes based on certain configurations and user input. The Rule Builder lets you enter design logic using Microsoft Excel syntax, so your rules can be as simple or as complex as you like. For example, the length of the skid is controlled by which pump is chosen. So the syntax says, if the pump type equals ISO, then the length should be 950. Otherwise, it should be 860. And finally, features. This can include adding and suppressing components as well. If coupling guard is a checkbox option, then the rule for both the assembly and the mounting features in the skid would be, if the coupling guard is required, then unsuppress these features. Otherwise, suppress them. When all the rules have been added, the green run arrow becomes active and you're now ready to test your design automation. The third and final step is now complete. If you would like to see some more examples, download the sample projects from DriveWorksExpress.com to see how they work. Remember, this setup only needs to be done once. Then you can use DriveWorks Express to automatically create unique, customised designs time and time again.